Hello viewers, I have here another latest slave, so you watch as we go. Here I have the length of this, what I'm going to use is uh, 15 inches for the length, Why the width is 9 inches. So why is 2 is, is because it's going to be a layer on sleeve so i'm going to place it on one another i mean each other and i'm going to fold it this way so i'm using my paint to hold it Here I have nine inches. Nine inches here. I'm going to chalk six point five. Here to 6.5. I'm going to connect this to this. <coughs> going to connect this edge here to this edge here. connected this to this I'm going to measure again here I have about about 10 inches I'm going to reduce it by here I'm going to make this place seven inches now from here to here seven inches the half of here will give me 3.5 inches Now for the wideness, I have um, 0 0.7 inches. So just watch me as I connect. As you can see this place between this line and this line is just like 0 0.3 inches so now for the amount of the sleeve the amount of the sleeve is um 11 inches divided by 2 gives me 5.5 The seam allowance one inch so i'm going to connect it the both line to that to that edge this way so i'm going to cut it out Tracing the part. So I'm going to. This is what I hand have at the end of the day. This is the shape. Now, one of these is going to be longer than the other. This one, which is going to be the upper one, is going to be a bit longer than this. So I'm going to reduce this one 
by 0 0.5 inch i mean the length now i'm going to measure 0 0.5 inch to reduce the length so i have this place to 0 0.5 so i'm going to connect and cut that place out i have something like this now i've reduced the length of this by 0 0.5 inch i'm going to work on the first layer here i have an um, almost nine inches i'm going to divide it by two which gives me 4.5 but i'm going to a bit i will lower it a bit making it from here to here i'm have something like a this is where i'm going to mark Okay, now here I'm going to mark 1.2 inches now I'm going to connect this point here to this point here connected so i'm going to here i'm going to from here to here i'm going to make it 0 0.4 in sorry sorry this is where i'm going to do the connection not from this side from here to this place now from here to this place this is where i'm going to cut it out Now, this is the inner one. This inner one here is going to be 2.5 inches the base 2.5 and here for the length I'm going to make it like a Two point seven inches. Two point seven inches for the length. Then the width here, I make it one point one inch or one inch is okay. So I'm going to connect from this point here. To this point so this is what I have now I'm going to shape it out like this have my shape like that so I'm going to cut it out
now this is what i have at the end of the day this is going to be the inner one why this one we overlap this so this is how my shape will be at the end of the day okay this is my shape since i'm through with the shape i folded it, it into two it's going to be two pieces because i'll uh, i'll do a turning i'm going to turn it out so i'm going to use this shape to cut it out so using my paint to hold it the shape has been cut out the pattern has been cut out so what i'm going to do i'm going to place it on each other like this place it on each other like this and i'm going to reduce this place a bit so that's how it's going to be now the next stage is to seal it now so let's go as i begin the seal seal uh, the pattern tra tracing it like that so that's what i'm going to do now tracing the pattern i'm going to see it out so let's go i'm going to cut this place out like this i'm going to notch so that by the time i turn it out it will be very easy Espena. Is to turn it out this is what I will have at the end of the day I'm going to high on it I'm going to high on it so that it gives me a very smooth face. I will do the high on it. So the same thing is applicable to this one. Exactly what I did here. That's what I'm going to do here also. Now I'm through with the sewing. I want to cut it out the way I did the other one. The next thing is for me to high on. I'm going to high on both this and this so that it will give me a smooth look. Yeah. So, like I told you earlier on, that this one is going to overlap the one under. So, I've done the overlapping here. So, I'm, the first thing I have to do is first. a stable look now i'm going to place it equally and i'm going to notch this part that's where my plating is going to start from
my shape is going to look like okay this is how it will be on the sleeve then if you have um i can now fix my button just one is okay but if, if i if you feel like putting two no problem just to beautify the shape so this is the end of my video for this particular design uh, sleeve design thanks for watching for more channel thank you